Hi everyone, it's Microwave Sam. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to set up Xcode projects with GitHub. First thing you want to do is go to this website. This website has Git Shell, which we'll be installing. Basically, it's using the terminal with Git. Now, git semcom download Mac will have the download file. I had to click here to download manually because it didn't automatically start, but for you guys, it should automatically start. Anyway, you get the git osx installer. You can save the file and it'll save into whatever folder that you specify on your browser. Normally, it goes to your downloads folder and you just wait until the time it takes to download the file finishes. This installer will basically integrate Git with your terminal. Now, there are definitely some GUIs or graphical user interfaces for Git. But knowing the terminal commands is always a good thing because you can do some cool stuff and it's knowledgeable, you can script it. And now afterwards you open the file and you have this PKG file that you double click and open. But sometimes it can't be opened because it's unidentified. So you search on your spotlight, security and privacy. And you click on that. At the bottom, you can open anyway the PKG file that was blocked originally. And you run the installation, continue, you install, and you hit next afterwards. But sometimes there's a prompt for a password, and you type in your password and install the software. You close it up. If you open your terminal, um, since Git is now integrated with your terminal, you will not see any difference, but uh, rest assured that it is installed git will be integrated with your terminal now if you go to github.com or any website that has git you can sign into your username and password or sign up and create a new account we will now be creating a new repository by the plus symbol at the top right a new repo and we'll create one so that we can host our Xcode project on github now repository name you just do iOS github in description you can name it whatever you want iOS github tutorial and you want to initialize this repository with a readme and add a git ignore search for objective C and click on it and create the new repository git ignore will ignore some objective C um, language that and files that you do not need under the repo and you just create and it creates the github repository now if you search on your app store you will need xcode xcode is a program that allows you to create mac iphone and ipad applications and you might already have installed but if you don't you want to download and install that i will open up xcode and create a new xcode project normally i deal with ios applications so i'll click on that and click on empty application and hit next you can name it whatever you want, but I would suggest you to name it the name of your GitHub repo just for consistency. Hit next and make sure to check on create git repository is checked and you create the project. Now I'll say create local git repository. Now we want to go to our terminal and we want to cd space documents backslash the name of our folder which is iOS GitHub and then you press enter if you're not familiar with terminal commands CD is change directory and you need to specify the directory of your project you want to be inside the folder now if you hit and type in git init it will say reinitialize the github repository or the git repository because you're basically starting git you're initializing it and now you want to provide connection between your local repo your local files in the file on the github website you do that by git remote add origin origin is the name of the connection basically and you provide that link I normally um, well one thing that will be different is the username will be different for you guys and I like to add dot git at the end but it's not necessary now what you're gonna do is you git pull origin master master is the main branch or the main repo and you press enter it's gonna merge whatever's on the local side and on the uh, github website 
press enter and you press I. I is for inserting um, words and you type in um, your message. Merge to grab read me and get ignore. You press the escape button on the top left and then colon X to save it and then press enter. That was a little bit Vim command. You might have to go over that a little bit. But what basically happened was we we're merging. We typed in a message using I because we're inserting a message. And then we wrote a little thing saying that we merged the local uh, with the GitHub repo. And we pulled in. We used git pull to pull in the readme and the git ignore onto our local. But we also pushed our files currently on and we merged the two and now everything's up on github repository now you can also do this by doing git add star star is for all and you can git commit dash m dash m is message and you inside quotes you provide a message like added ios project to github repo and you can also specify specific files with git add by just typing git add ios blah 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 um, I also wrote ls command, which lit is basically the list of files in the directory. A little bit fast, but if you go back to your Xcode project, you can commit via that way or push via that way. Pushing is you're basically uploading your files. Now, the thing that's useful for Xcode, and if we refresh the GitHub website on that directory, we see that everything's uploaded with the initial commit and we can see that we merge the branch of our local to the one existing on the github repo source control is a little tab and a useful tool that you can use to commit push and pull now we don't need to use the terminal again the terminal was just to start it up i like using the terminal because it's a quick way to start up the connection between our local repo and our github repository online if you write in a comment with slash slash, uh, you can write in a comment and you can use the source control commit to write a message, commit a message, and then if you check in push to remote origin master, we'll be pushing to the master branch of our GitHub repo. And then we commit one file and push, everything is pushed on. If we go to the website of our repo and we refresh, we can see that the file has a new commit message and if we even went inside the iOS GitHub, we would see that the file has the new comment. Source control can be used to configure the branches. It can be used to commit, push, and pull, like I said before. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hopefully, it helped you. I went a little bit fast, so feel free to go back. Just pause the commands and memorize those commands because if you're using Git, and if you're using Git Shell, you'll need to know those commands in the future. Thanks for watching.